got this little log jam I found. It's 15 feet deep. Well, out there in the center, it's about 20. And hopefully it's not a turtle. Boom, there we go. Fish on, fellas, fish on. Creek's real muddy today. I ain't been back up here in a while. There's a lot of debris on the bottom of this creek. And hopefully, hopefully that means flatheads. Still 6.8 feet. There's a lot of trees, like I said, stumps, as you can tell. Not a bad looking little creek. A lot of minnows, real muddy today. Done hit one damn log. That's why I'm not going very fast. It's a little dangerous up in these kind of places, guys. Go slow. As you can see, we got a tree down here. There's a big tree down right there. There's a lot down right here. I don't know if I can get up through here, guys. My Uncle Polly's gonna try it. It's a little scary. Man, guys. This probably wouldn't be a bad flathead spot. It is a little bit of a drop off right here. Went from eight feet down to uh, 13 to 11. I don't know. There might be some fish laying right here, but we're gonna try to sneak up past all this. Okay, so looks like we're kind of okay. 12 foot deep. I might fish this spot on the way back home. On the way out, there might be a flathead just kind of sitting in the bottom right there. Whoo, buddy. That was a little sketchy. A little too close to comfort for my liking. We continue. All right, guys, so we got this little log jam I found. It's 15 feet deep. Right here where I'm at, I made it through the creek, as you can tell. Not too shabby little hole. Out there in the center, it's about 20. So I'm gonna drop a live bait right here next to all this debris, and I'm gonna throw one out there in the center and just see if there's any flatheads just kind of hanging out up in here. So let's get rigged up. Let's get the baits on. Hopefully my baits are still alive. They've been in this cooler all damn day. I need to freshen up their water. Give them something nice to live in, I guess. So I've only got a few brim. They're not too big, but they'll do for now. They're actually really tiny brim, but we can still catch the big ones on the smaller ones. We just got a chance of catching smaller ones. Well, if I can hold on to him. I don't like trimming their fins or anything. It's just too much work for me, guys. So we're just going to hook him. Just like that. And we're gonna drop him straight down right here at the side of this log jam. And hopefully, hopefully he doesn't tangle me up in anything. And maybe there's something hanging out down there on the bottom. Oh yeah. Guys, there's a lot of logs lot of debris down there guys so we're just gonna we're gonna let him chill right there and we're gonna rig up our second bait right quick like I said I'm gonna throw this second one I'm gonna throw it out there in the center just because I think there's something out there we'll take either one of you guys it doesn't matter to me go get the scales off he's a lively little critter and we're just gonna we're just gonna set him out there in the center just like that and I'm actually gonna put him in this rod holder no special reason. It's just the one I want to put him in. And then we're going to readjust this guy. Because I know I didn't set him right. 
Yeah, I got him way off the bottom. Okay. All right. So now I know he's on bottom. And we're just going to wait, you guys, and see if there's any... See if there's any flatheads chilling out here. So like I said, we got one out in the center, one straight down right here. Fingers crossed we come across the flathead today. Well guys, while we wait, let's talk about summer catfish. Summer catfishing is a pain. If you go out in the middle of the day, you're gonna get scorched and you're gonna get skunked probably. Unless you find them deep, deep, deep holes that they're hiding in with that cooler water. And then you have to wait till the evenings <clears throat> or really early in the morning to get out there. The catfish right now are hunting at night, running up in the shallows with the bait. All your bait fish and your brim and your shad and your, everything is running up in the shallows, feeding on everything in the cooler waters and they're hiding in the deeper waters during the day because of the temperatures. So. It's about 5.30 in the afternoon right now, and I'm gonna sit out here until about nine o'clock tonight and just see if something happens. Like I said, I'm out here in this little creek that runs right into the uh, Chattahoochee River. So hopefully, hopefully there's a few flatheads hiding out up in here. That's the goal anyway, see if we can't come across one or two. But man, these summer days, these summer days of catfishing are not simple. Not simple at all, y'all. Whatever is messing with this brim, I wish would go ahead and just take it. And hopefully it's not a turtle. Boom, there we go. Fish on, fellas, fish on. So it feels real heavy, like he's going straight down to the bottom. Oh yeah. This just might be a tiny little flathead, guys, but Whoa, nope. He's pulling a little bit of drag right there. Look, there's my brim. I got my brim back. Look at that. All right, guys, we got us a flatty. He's not a big flatty, but he is a flatty. Calm down, buddy. Calm down, buddy. All right. Look at that, guys. Look at that. All right, guys, so here he is. We got one on the boat right there. He's not the biggest flathead in the world, but he's a decent little guy. Nice little yellow belly on him. Nice fat mouth. And we're gonna go ahead and just release him back. He's cute. He's a good one. We got another boat coming up in here on us. We got a good release, we got a good fish. Whew, what's up guys? I had to leave all of a sudden like super fast. We had a severe thunderstorm come up. I was out there, saw the clouds rolling in. That's some scary stuff when you're out there on the river. That thing gets to raging sometimes, y'all. But we got a severe weather coming through. I know it's probably doesn't look all that bad, but down here in South Alabama, when you have weather like this, it does get pretty gnarly. Y'all can see the clouds rolling in, getting real dark. Everybody's trying to leave. I got the boat out in time, but the wind's really starting to pick up right now, and it's actually starting to sprinkle. But this right here is uh, really scary stuff, guys, when you're out here on the river. So I'm going to head home. We're going to try it again tomorrow, and hopefully tomorrow I can get back out here. Tomorrow after work, that is. I'm going to get back out here, and we're going to go out in the river, river. I'm gonna stay out of that creek because when it rains like this, that creek gets hard to manage through there and you can't see all them stumps when the water levels come up. And I'm afraid I'm gonna damage my boat. This is where a kayak would be really handy because there's a lot of log piles in there I wanna fish. And I just didn't have a chance to today, guys. But I'll get back to it. We'll get back in that creek again. But tomorrow I'll be back. I'm gonna be out there in the river. We're gonna have some flow for this rain. So that's gonna be a good thing. So Uncle Polly, out.